there, I'm Sarah Baldwin and it's another Sunday with Sarah. It's been a long time um, since I've recorded a video for you, had a, a busy few months getting ready for the holidays. And so, speaking of the holidays, I wanted to share with you today one of my very favorite stocking stuffers. Um, it's something you're probably really familiar with. Just a simple finger string for playing finger games or Cat's Cradle, if you remember that from your childhood. So this is my friend Benjamin. And a couple of weeks ago, Benjamin was visiting our shop and I gave him um, a finger string like this. So it's from Sarah Silks, it's rainbow colored, really pretty. And at first he didn't know what to do with it. And I showed him just the very simplest Cat's Cradle game. And I wanna show you what uh, what he can do now. We'll play it together, shall we? Okay, you're gonna start. Can you get a little bit closer to me? Let's see how many rounds we can go. Ta-da! Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Benjamin. So that game I just played with Benjamin is uh, the most well-known string game called Cat's Cradle, and you probably played it as a child. But there are many, many other um, games, string games, that can be played. Um, string games are wonderful, not just for fun, but they also, it's a great learning tool. It's great for developing a child's fine motor skills, which we now know are so important for brain development and learning. And it's uh, for this reason we introduce activities like finger knitting in the Waldorf Kindergarten. And all children learn to knit in first grade and to do handwork and embroidery. All those skills with the fingers are directly connected. There are nerves going right from the tips of the fingers to the neural pathways in the brain. Um, and finger string games have also been found to be really effective for children with dyslexia and other learning ability disabilities. Um, they help develop uh, motor agility and literacy and numeracy skills, but uh, kids just know that it's fun. It's a great uh, thing to keep and just keep a finger string in your bag. Wonderful for long car trips or long airplane trips to keep children occupied for great lengths of time. Um, and I also wanted to tell you about this wonderful book, Finger Strings, by Michael Taylor, who's a Waldorf teacher who loves these games, has collected many of them from different cultures, games for children from as young as five, um, Cat's Cradle that you saw is probably better for children eight or nine and up. Um, but there are simple games in here that even a five-year-old can enjoy. It comes with two extra um, finger strings in the back, one yellow and one red. And the illustrations are kind of color-coded to make it really easy to understand each move. There are even games for multiple players. Uh, so I highly recommend this book if you're new to string games. Um, and again, it's one of my favorite stocking stuffers, uh, a bestseller at Christmas time here at Bella Luna Toys. And uh, anyway, I hope that uh, has inspired you to, um, to pick up a string. So thanks again for tuning in. Glad to be back with you. Promise to uh, not be such a stranger. You'll see me again soon on Sunday with Sarah. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.